this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see how to reduce the given differential equation to variable separable by changing Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. So we are going to convert the Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates to reduce the complexity of the problem. Okay. So let's get started. Problem. Solve x dx plus y dy by x dy minus y dx equals to square root of a square minus x square minus y square by x square plus y square. Okay. Let x equals to r cos theta and y equals to r sin theta. Then x square plus y square equals to the place of x substitute r cos theta plus in the place of y, substitute r sin theta. So, we will get r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. So, now we are going to take r square common. Then we will get r square into cos square theta plus sin square theta. Since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. So, you will get r square. Okay. So, therefore x square plus y square equals to r square. If we will differentiate on both sides, we will get we are having x square plus y square equals to r square, right? So, differentiate on both sides. We get 2x dx plus 2y dy equals to 2r dr. So take 2 common, you will get 2 into x dx plus y dy equals to 2 into r dr. So we are going to cancel 2. Finally, we will get x dx plus y dy equals to r dr. Okay, consider it as equation 1. Okay, fine. So, from this, again, we get r equals to square root of x square plus y square. Okay, now what we are going to do is, we will consider y by x. So, in the place of y, substitute r sin theta and in the place of x, substitute r cos theta. So, you will get r sin theta by r cos theta. r gets cancelled. So, you will get sin theta by cos theta, which is tan theta. Okay. So, we are having y by x equals to tan theta. If you differentiate on both sides, you will get d of y by x equals to d of tan theta. Since derivative of u by v is u dash v minus v dash u by v square and derivative of tan theta is Secant square theta. Okay. So you will get u dash. So this is your u and this is your v. u dash that is dy v x minus v dash dx u y divided by v square equals to Secant square theta d theta. Okay.
since you are having x dy minus y dx by x square equals to secant square theta into theta d theta. So here we are going to convert. We are converting in polar coordinates, right? So We can consider the numerator part x dy minus y dx equals to. Now we, are, we can take this x square to right hand side. x square into secant square theta d theta we get. Right. So since these must be in polar form. But you are having x square. So convert this x square to polar. That means you can change using x equals to r cos theta. So this equals to r square cos square theta into secant square theta d theta. Since we know that reciprocal of secant theta is cos theta or reciprocal of cos theta is secant theta. If you square on both sides, you will get cos square theta equals to 1 by secant square theta. So from this, you will get r square into 1 by secant square theta into secant square theta d theta. So secant square theta, secant square theta gets cancelled. So finally you will get r square. Okay. So therefore x dy minus y dx equals to r square. Consider it as equation. Okay, since you are having y by x equals to tan theta, from this you get theta equals to tan inverse of y by x. Okay, now we will consider the given differential equation and we will convert it into polar form. Okay, so this is our given differential equation. Right? Given differential equation. Okay? Fine. Since we are having from 1 into x dx plus y dy equals to r dr. So this implies, now replace the numerator by r dr divided by x dy minus y dx equals to r square r square dr. Okay. I have left something. r square d theta. Okay. Not dr. So this equals to square root of a square. Now take minus common from these two terms. So you will get minus of x square plus y square divided by x square plus y square. Since x square plus y square equals to r square. So this becomes 1r r and 1 r from this r square gets cancelled. So, you will get r dr by r dr d theta which is equals to square root of a square minus r square by r square. We are replacing x square plus y square by r square. Okay. So, now we are going to write by separating the variables. Okay. We have dr by r into d theta equals to square root of a square minus r square by square root of r square square and root gets cancelled. So this becomes r by square root of a square minus r square 
into dr. So in the denominator also you are having r, so write it here, which is equals to, take this d theta to right hand side, okay, so now you can cancel the r, finally you will get One by square root of a square minus r square into dr equals to d theta. So here the variables are separable. Variables are separable. Okay. So we are going to use theta equals to tan inverse of y by x. Theta equals to tan inverse of y by x and equals to r. Fine. Okay. So now the variables are separable, so we are going to integrate on both sides. Integrating on both sides, we get since integral 1 by square root of a square minus x square into dx equals to sine inverse of x by a plus c and integral dx equals to x plus c. Okay, we are going to apply this formulas here. So, we will get sine inverse of in the place of x you're having r and in the place of x you're having the same x. Sorry, in the place of a you're having the same. So, you'll get sine inverse of r by a equals to x plus c. Okay. So this implies, you can write, if sine inverse of theta equals to some b, then theta equals to sine b, right? The same way, you can write r by a equals to sine of x plus c. Okay, sorry, this theta, right? So, you will get theta here, theta. Okay, now we are going to change everything in terms of Cartesian coordinates. Okay, since these are in polar. So, now we are going to change into Cartesian coordinates using theta equals to tan inverse y by x and r equals to square root of x square plus y square. Okay. So, this becomes r equals to a into sine of theta plus c. So, now replace r equals to square root of x square plus y square which is equals to a into sine of now we place theta equals to tan inverse of y by x okay therefore Square root of x square plus y square equals to a into sine of tan inverse of y by x plus c is the general solution.
So this completes the problem. So we have done a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.